Your Majesty, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, members of Parliament, uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your very kind words of welcome and all of you for being here today. I'm, I'm truly honored by, by your welcome. Uh, regarding the weather, well, I didn't expect differently, but <laughs> it, it's, it is also a, uh, important to note that this is one of your sources of uh, wealth, so it's very welcome as well. Um, I must uh, comment to your earlier comments about uh, my uh, supporting a team. Uh, you revealed one of my widest known uh, secrets. <laughs> But, uh, and you follow uh, soccer very closely, football, uh, as, as I see by, by what you're mentioning. Uh, allow me to say that on this uh, state visit of great uh, significance for our bilateral relations between Denmark and Spain, I, I take great privilege and I value this unique opportunity to pay my respects to you and the institution you represent, the Folketing. It is always particularly relevant due to the crucial importance the role of parliament has at the heart of Danish democracy. Our two countries are both parliamentary monarchies and social and democratic states founded on the rule of law. In Denmark, as in Spain, parliament is the cornerstone of the political system. It represents the people, it legislates, approves government budgets, and maintains scrutiny over government actions. The duties you discharge at the service of the fundamental principles underpinning our legal systems, freedom, justice, equality, solidarity, and welfare, are decisive to our democratic systems and therefore worthy of the highest recognition. Spain has a long-standing parliamentary tradition, as you recalled, dating back to the first parliament of Cortes in the Kingdom of Leon, which was established in 1188 under the reign of Alfonso IX. Ten years ago, UNESCO recognized the decrees of Leon as the oldest documented manifestation of the European parliamentary system. That UNESCO should recognize Leon as the birthplace of European parliamentary, parliamentarianism is something of which we are truly proud. I won't continue bragging about that. So. <laughs> Denmark, for its part, is a long-established, dynamic, and progressive democracy that has consistently demonstrated an enormous capability to adapt and to be foresighted in addressing difficult challenges presented by the complex societies of our times. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on the 70th anniversary of your constitution this past June, the date on which each year Denmark celebrates its democracy. Both as fellow members of the European Union and NATO allies, Danes and Spaniards alike are unwavering in our determination to overcome the challenges of today's complex world. It is with that same spirit that we contribute towards building the European project and to defending international law. Mr. Speaker, members of Parliament, I would like to thank you once again for your hospitality and to commend your crucial work. I place, I place great trust in the strength of the relationship between Spain and Denmark and have no doubt that our countries will continue to move forward politically, economically, and socially being champions of European democracy and working hard and to foster international peace and security. Thank you all very much. Thank you.